Tagging is a very important part of Qflow and is used throughout our features. In Qflow, tagging is basically labeling a group of guests. For example, a good tag would be a company name. I could then select that particular company name and only see guests who belong to that company. If I wanted to know who from that company had arrived and who was outstanding, I could easily find that information out. Another tag could be the guest status. We could label our important guests as VIP. When tagging guests, you should only tag them with shared information and not unique information. If I were to tag my guests by their barcode, which is unique, I would get no benefit. A good way of looking at this is, does a tag apply to more than a few guests? If so, then use it. Let's look at a demo to illustrate what we've just talked about. The first time you come into contact with tags is usually when you import your guests. You're asked to name your import. This is essentially tagging your import or tagging your guests. I have three spreadsheets from different ticketing companies. These spreadsheets show ticket sales. Let's import these guests now. The first ticketing spreadsheet is from Ticketmaster. Let's go through the import process. Other videos show the import process in more detail. Let's click import guests. Now I need to tag my list. I'm going to call it Ticketmaster. Let's add some more guests now. My second spreadsheet is for Eventbrite. Let's go through the import process again. Since we're importing these guests from Eventbrite, we'll tag it Eventbrite. We're going to do the final spreadsheet now. For the final spreadsheet, I want to get even more insight on my guest, so I'm going to set one of the columns to tags. This tells Qflow to group the guests by this data. More than one guest can have the same ticket type, so it's a good column to tag. Finally, we're going to name this Ticket Hub. Now that I've imported my guests, I can see statistics on arrivals and get individual guest lists for the tags I've created. There's my Eventbrite guests. There's my Ticket Hub guests. And there's my Ticket Master guests. If I want to see actual information, I can actually go down here and I can find those guests. Let's have a look at Ticket Hub again. And there you go, these are only Ticket Hub guests now. If you remember, I also tagged one of the columns from Ticket Hub by the ticket tiers. This allows me to drill down even more insight into my guests. Let's have a look at the second release ticket tier. Four people bought that ticket. As my event begins to run, I can see arrival statistics by these tags. Tagging is very powerful. Have yourself a go and start getting rich insights back on your guests today.